What's up, y'all? My name is Jet. This year, I decided to move from Houston down to Medellin, Colombia. And today, I'm going to show y'all the cost and the budget of my living when I was in Houston and how much I'm able to save living out here in Medellin. Let's get it. I ended up getting a flight going to Miami and I met up with one of my homeboys from back home. He had a bachelor party. And so this was the first leg of my trip before I actually headed down to Medellin. So the cost overview of how much I actually used to spend in my budget for living in Houston versus living in Medellin is a huge difference. So in Houston, I was spending around $2,641. These are just all the essentials. So obviously I didn't account for things like going out and things like that. Now, if you look here, these are the essentials I have to have when I'm living in Medellin. And all of that totals up to around $1,809. I chose Medellin because I've been here about three other times, actually four times before. Um, and every time I've come, I've always had a good time. The experiences I've had, like going to community Federacy, and I also just appreciate how the people are here and how everybody is so friendly and welcoming. It's also close to home, it's not too far. So if I need to get back to the United States, I can always just catch a flight. That'll probably take me about three hours or so to head back. So the rent is one of the biggest things is gonna be the difference between living back in America versus living here. When I was living back in Houston, I was paying around 1700 a month. I ended up moving out here to Columbia and you can find plenty of places that look like this in the background and I'm only paying 830 something dollars a month so obviously the the reduction in rent price has been crazy the lifestyle that you're able to live living in Colombia versus living back in America with the amount of money that you have is considerably better so back home I used to have to pay for my car insurance luckily I was one of the people who already had my car paid off so I didn't have a car note even my car insurance alone cost me around like 300 and then when I got here, obviously I don't have to drive a car. I don't have my car here, so I don't have to pay car insurance. Went ahead and canceled that. Also just using gas. Luckily I lived close to a lot of the stuff that I had to go to. So I didn't have to spend too much on gas. I was only spending about hundred a month. But here I don't have to pay anything. And Uber rides literally from here to my gym is only a $2 ride. Back in Houston, I'll probably spend I would try to budget myself to around like 50 to 75 a week. Here, I budgeted a little less because uh, you know the cost of things are a little less here. So right now I've budgeted out about like 100 to 150. Rappi is like uh, Columbia's version of Amazon, except on Rappi, you can just search for anything and they'll bring it to you like almost immediately. Um, and then also, if you live here and you sign up for Rappi Pro, which is like Amazon Prime, um, it's only $5 a month. You don't have to pay any delivery fees ever. Um, and then you get access to like Turbo. And when you order through Rappi Turbo, they're here in like less than 10 minutes. So it's pretty cool to get access to almost anything you really need. I'm able to add in more to my fitness and health, which is something I really want to take care of. And I'm able to by living here. What I was doing back in Houston, I had a gym membership. I was paying around $15 a month. Now being out here, the gym does cost a little more, but this gym is, I guess the nicest gym. But the rest of my budget has gone down in other places. So every Monday I have scheduled at like nine o'clock in the morning to go get a massage. And total that's probably cost me, I think $160 a month. If you leave America, you have health insurance um, and you leave to go somewhere else, what are you gonna do about insurance if you get sick or something like that? Um, so there's this thing I use called Safety Wing and they have um, access to either travel insurance or a health insurance plan. So what I did for right now is I just got the travel insurance. So if anything catastrophic happens to me, um, I'm covered. Now in general, like going to the doctor and all of that, I'm not covered. But when I thought back on it, I really did not go to the doctor that much. I didn't go to the dentist that much. Like I barely used my benefits when I did have health insurance. So to me, it didn't really make sense to have that. So the phone bill in Houston, I used to have Verizon in Houston. I was paying around like $85, $90 a month. Out here, you can get like 80 gigs of data for an entire month and it will cost you $25 if you get a Claro SIM card. You have to have a phone that's able to put in the SIM card because if not, uh, you have to use an eSIM. And if you're trying to use an eSIM for a, a prepaid phone, they're not going to let you. You have to be a Colombian citizen.
here you can look at the total cost between uh, everything I had in Houston versus everything I have here in Medellin. Um, you can see the huge difference in the type of lifestyle that I'm able to live and budget in in both cities. So this was a huge reason as to why I wanted to go ahead and leave Houston because now that I'm able to come to Medellin and live for this amount of money, I'm able to save the extra amount or use that extra amount for other things like traveling. I'm definitely gonna be going to some restaurants. Um, the restaurants I have been to already, uh, the few times I've already been here have been really, really good. So it's interesting to try different cuisines, especially when you travel to other countries. So being in Colombia, I definitely want to go out and try to eat as much as possible. I'm definitely going to go do some different experiences. So far, I've already done like horseback riding and uh, touring Camino Trece and going to different museums and, uh, you know, different things like that. I'm also planning to travel to Peru, so that'll be a definitely a huge set of videos that I have, uh, just talking about my experience going there and being able to travel from Colombia to Peru uh, while I'm living here in Colombia. I have a lot more free time now, now that uh, I'm living out here. So it gives me opportunities to work on things I really enjoy, like playing the piano and working on music. Uh, so I haven't had a chance to do that as much just because I've had other stuff going on, but now that I have some more time, really gonna lock in and um, You'll see a lot more of that on my other channel, which you should check out if you have not checked out already. I have a lot of piano covers, a lot of music. Uh, it's definitely a cool little vibe to go over there and listen to. Um, at first, I was kind of feeling you know, a little bad about leaving because a lot of my family is in Texas and in Houston. Uh, my brother lives in Houston. My aunts live in Houston. I have a lot of friends that are in Houston. Uh, so... It was a little different leaving, but when I thought about it, a lot of the times when I was in Houston, I was by myself working because most of the time I work from online. Um, so I wasn't really going out that much anyways, doing that much. And I enjoy traveling and being in other places. So um, I felt bad for a little bit, but only a little bit. <laughs> it wasn't very long. I felt, you know, super bad. And so how I feel about being here in Medellin now, I'm definitely happy. Um, you know, it was kind of stressful leading up to this because we had a lot of stuff going on with you know, moving out of the house and putting things in the storage. And then I had to go to Miami to go to a bachelor party right before I came out here. So it was just a lot of moving. My bag was like a hundred pounds. So I had to pay overage, <laughs> overage fees and charges. And, uh, you know, but I'm here now. This is like my third day here right now. So, you know, we have uh, almost two months of being here. So it's a lot of stuff to explore, a lot of stuff to see. Uh, and I'm definitely looking forward to it. So yeah, that's all I got for this one. Hopefully this video was informational and helpful, showed you the different you know, prices and budgets that people could have from living in a city in America versus living out here in Medellin. If you are thinking about you know, coming out here to Medellin, definitely should at least come out here and visit before you think about moving out here. But um, it's definitely possible. If you can find a way to make about $2,000 a month online or in another way, it's definitely possible to get up and leave America come out here and live a very, very comfortable life off 2000 a month. So yeah, that's all I got. Uh, make sure y'all like, make sure y'all subscribe, make sure y'all share my videos and I'm out.